Hey, how are you doing? I am Joe. Welcome to the channel and hopefully welcome back because we are on episode 3 of season 1 of Love Hate. Episode 3 of 4, the 4 episodes this season. If you have not seen my reaction to the other two episodes, you can go back and watch them if you want. Um, so, Love Hate is an is a Irish crime drama, I guess. It's got its funny moments, but it's a crime drama, right? In uh, so episode one, we meet. It's basically a get to know you thing. Darren's brother gets shot, and that's sort of the underlying theme of all those things are happening around about them. That's sort of the Ryan storyline, right? The guy that shot. That's the one that's bubbling underneath. And I sort of thought they're involved in this little gang, and I was sort of gone. Are these kind of wannabes or are they big time? And then they bring in a shipment, a shipment. Oh kilos and kilos of stuff. So I guess they're big time, right? I guess they're big time. At least John Boy is. John Boy is the sort of older kingpin and he's surrounded himself with a lot of younger guys, like his brother and a lot of people at his brother's age. And I guess it's like henchmen, right? He's got henchmen. In last episode, we saw the job. There was, it could have gone wrong, but Darren spotted undercover police in the car wash, the guy started washing his car for about three hours. And Darren's like, that's a car bar, we need to change. To change the place, Darren saved the day. They had a party at John Paul's place, which, by the way, is fucking nice, isn't it? I mean, the say crime doesn't pay, but... Mate, it's a nice pod. He's got, like, outdoor decking area with jacuzzi and stuff like that. It's a nice pod. But, um... They have a party. Darren's reluctant. Darren shows up, and you kind of see... Right, the difference. They're all a gong, and although Darren is in the gong, he kind of keeps himself separate. Right, I guess maybe he's with them because it's friends of his, and he's just kind of drifting along, not really with them, or you know, it's just what he got into when he was young. But he's not sure of John Boy. Right, he doesn't. I think he doesn't want to be too close to John Boy. He doesn't want a boss, basically. Right? He doesn't. He doesn't want to be um, like treated like the rest of them are treated. And uh, I said, "Well, right, it, it the end." Or sort of like Darren's. Like, I've got to go. And John was like, "Well, fuck off then." And it was like, it was sort of serious, but in a joking ish kind of way. All right, mate, fuck off anyway. But it was said with like, see when you get. Um, I'm sure if you hang around certain circles, if somebody's high or if somebody's drunk and they offer you something and you don't want it, then they take it personally. Right? They take it personally. Come on, have a party, have a hook, I'll have some going out with it. Oh yeah, what's wrong with me like? Why do you know what? You know, you get the type, I just can't think John Boy is. John Boy wants to show off and he doesn't appreciate people who don't appreciate him. Right? He'll give you stuff, but you've got to be subservient for it. If you're not adequately subservient, 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 Fucking tooth. Subservient to him. He doesn't like it. Right? I think he, he wants to keep Darren close because Darren is clearly a step above the others. But Darren's got other things in his mind. And yeah, I guess that's why the stories are going right. We're going to see this episode the guy who allegedly shot Darren's brother has come back. So I guess we're going to maybe see a showdown. And we're going to see like um, the John Boy situation, see how that goes, right? Um, yeah, and there was the issue with the guy who shot Tommy, or whatever it was, Robbie, something like that. The guy that shot him, they were like, why did you run if you didn't do it? Why did you run away to England if you didn't do it? That's a sign of guilt because you run away. And you're like, mate, no, it's not. With this type of situation, you could walk through your front door and somebody shoots you in the back of the head without questioning you. Like somebody said you did it, oh, it was good enough. You're going to get shot, you're going to get taken. And no matter what you say. Did you shoot my brother? No. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. That's what somebody would, who did it was. You can't, I mean, you can't really talk your way out of it when everybody's got hothead. So it's nearly a, it's nearly a admission of guilt. But episode three, here we go. What? You know what? A bit of paint bombs all over you. You must think I'm stupid. 
are you talking about? We're getting married. Swear to me you won't go near any prostitutes. Are you mad? Swear! I swear. Here, give us a smile. Where are we going? Answer the Point of percent frog. That pinball in. That pinball. He's back. back. London, is he? Thanks for that, brother. Jimmy Bourne's back. Jimmy Bourne's back. The guy that shot so allegedly. I know you was having a few bottles. Shot down his brother. Dead man walking. Yeah. That's where he is. Mm. Dead man walking. Yeah. I don't know if I believe it. The John boy seemed very, very quick to point the finger, oh. didn't he? Again, I think it's a little finger thing. I just don't trust him. You know what? What? No matter what I see him in, in future, I'm not going to trust him. In fact, Luton. Been moping all weekend. Darren's been giving me a pain in me bollocks. I couldn't relax over there with him there just... watching. What are you talking about? I couldn't relax over there with him, could I? He didn't go near the hookers. <coughs> didn't even get a lap dance, did he? <laughs> Must be in love. Mmm. Mmm. I wasn't going to leave it, was I? You want to get banged up for being stupid, do you? I mean, if you has got to get jail for anything, it has got to be for being stupid. I was like, that's why he's got to jail, for being stupid. That's his MO. What do you want to do? Hmm. I'll ring Nage. I'll call you later, right? I'll see if I can take an early lunch. Okay. I'll wait for you. Mate, just leave it. It's like a no-win situation, is it? No-win situation. Look, I just want to be straight with you. I had to leave. But I could have asked you to come with me. Have they not done this every single episode? Thank you. Up to now. Every episode, the first Why conversation. Because it's the first time you've said it. No, it's not. No, it's fucking not. I'm sure you said it episode one. It was a first big love for both of us, and... That How long was he away for, by the way? Until How long was he gone for? Because she moved on very, very and quickly. How could you know if I was the great love of your life? If Pregnant and everything. Loves? Was it something like that? No, it's not the same. Him and me. I like him, that's it. She likes him. She's having his baby. That she likes him too. Better. She likes him. He's a nice guy. No. He's got summers. You left me. I know. And I was on my own, and he was the next guy who came along who was nice to me. The next guy came along? I always get sick after being on planes. Hmm? Dirty things they are. It's dirty, those dartboards in Prague. <laughs> Come on. No. Good luck. He's got a wife to see. He's got a pregnant missus. Gary? Right? Yeah. What's up with you? A bit wired. <laughs> wired. You need to get some sleep. You can't. It's like the penguins of Madagascar living in my head. He's flying, mate. Yeah. Flying. Sure, Look at him. It's like a Tamazi or something. Elephant tranks is what I need. Go to Amsterdam tomorrow. Yeah. Amsterdam. What you nah, you're good. Oh, it's a nice place, though. I know I say that all the time, but it's a beautiful place he's got. And if you like, we can offer different canopy selections. What sort of canopies do you do? We have different options. Black pudding and apple tartlet. Thai chicken kebabs, tiger prawns and phyllo pastry are always popular. That is literally, literally a man, a man going to organise a win, right? You're standing in the ground with stuff and no one's gushing and you're thinking, I don't care. I don't care, I just want to get married. I don't care about the extras. I don't care what we're eating. I don't care about the surroundings. I fucking care. But you're like nodding and smiling and ooh, nice. Don't care. I'll put you down in the book, and all I need now is the deposit, and the date is confirmed. How much is the deposit? It's two thousand euro. Two grand. If deposit. You have to pay me now. You can drop a check into me next week if you like. No, no, I'm guilty. <laughs> <laughs> There's one. Uh, 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 there's two. 
Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, You would say that, wouldn't you? Of course you would. He's a lying rat, darling. You're not lying, I swear to God. You were hair melting off about it, saying it was you. Yeah, I didn't say anything. I don't believe you. Why'd you go to London then? Because I knew you said I'll take it was me. Who said it was him? I wouldn't be back if it was. I'm not that stupid. Who said it was him? Saying you were going to kill Robbie. Yeah, well, look what he did to me face. Doesn't mean I've done it, though, does it? You know it wasn't me, darling. Otherwise, you wouldn't be asking me. I don't believe him! I swear to God, Darren! I swear to me child's life! That's all I can say! It wasn't me who killed your brother! Darren... You think I shoot him? I'm the prison, man! I'm still in the prison! Darren! Sister reckons I can get over a hundred grand, look! I should be thanking your brother! Right, he's not gonna shoot him in the van, regardless, is he? He's not gonna... Holy shit, let him go. Holy shit, let him go. Oh. So, now, now, who said it was him? Yeah, but you heard it was him. No, I didn't. I didn't hear it. Well, who said it to you it was him? Look, don't put me in the middle of it. In the middle of what? Who said what? Who said this? Who said that? Blah, blah, Who did say Because if it wasn't him, the person who said it is suspicious. It was John Boy, wasn't it? John Boy the Wick. John Boy the Wick said it. I don't know who did it. End the story. How are you, Mrs. Green? How are you doing? Eric's upstairs with his father. Oh, okay, thanks, mate. How are you? How are you? How's it going? What's the story? That's it, Dad. Uh, have to share for your journey. Good, bud. Just like a cup of tea, lads. No, I'm good. Thanks, Jerry. Tommy. Oh, not for me, Jerry. Thanks. Jerry. We Jimmy born in the back of a van. Ooh. And Darren let him go. You serious? What are you doing that for? Hey, the cousin's here. You better get a new one. I'm coming now, Dad. Darren let him go. You're joking. No. He thinks it isn't him. Who else could it be? I was going to say, who else could it be? The next person you see is got to be, but it definitely wasn't her. Definitely wasn't her. He said it to him. He gets a skip and he goes straight to the hotel and he meet you there. Yeah, and if his plane gets delayed, I don't want him coming up to me in the airport or anything. I don't want him anywhere near me. I told him that. So he's the guy who's got to transfer the money to Amsterdam so he can pay his supplier. But he doesn't want to go through the airport with the money. What happened to you? Hmm. Last night. Last night. Nothing, I can't remember. The sock came off anyway. Some English tick was singing. He got the cue ball. I'll tell you what. Some of the English was singing. He took off his sock, put a ball in it, and I saw them. Is that what happened? Yeah, I saw it some day for singing. If you want, I could sort it out. We won't talk his way out of it with me, so we won't. We done. I could do it on my own. Yeah, he built the country, and whoever did it dies with Jimmy. The mystery dies. Hello? Martin, it's Cubal. Come here to me, how much you owe me? I don't know, but... I'm not looking for right now. I'm asking how much you still owe me. I'd have to add it up now. I'll tell you what, I'll knock a few quid off if you can help me out with something. Go on, so what is it? Ah, you know, same as before. I'll call you back later, Martin. He lives in a car of one when I'm away. Oh, Have a little man. Oh, 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 oh. Right hook you gave your man. <laughs> it's 
the boxing. It was funny. Martin has a gun. What does Martin need a gun for to knock the bollocks off the set? <laughs> now, it is my house. I can do whatever I want in it. Yeah, it's your house, so what? Yeah, it is. She's still out. I went to the auctioneers. I bought it. Where the fuck were you when I was doing all that? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with me? I paid a mortgage. It's my house. Where are you going? I want to get out of your house. Don't push me! Oh. Don't push me, you little bitch! Oh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is not go good done well at all. Oh, you so fucker. Oh, wow. Ah, oh, you just messed up. And you know you messed up. So, this episode's got a lot more serious, right? It's like the hail season is romping upwards. They get arrested for murder. They don't get arrested for murder, do they? And does he know Jimmy's dead? He's been arrested as well. Well, he was out of the country, right? Was that not what he was in for? <laughs> Why is he looking surprised? Why is he looking surprised? He fucking did it! Here we man. Where are you? Call me back, will you? To be fair. Alright. He did. He did tell Hugh to do it, did he? He did give Hugh the okay to do it. You'll not read that yet? No. It says John Boy had Jimmy Bourne shot. And that Hugh he did it. Oh! Holy shit! So that's why he's nervous. It's me. Where are you? Are you alright? So was our yeah. guy a snitch? Huey, listen. Don't talk to me about anything on the phone, but it's all good, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, it is. They questioned me there for a bit, but they had to let me go because... I did nothing wrong. Do you know what I'm saying? Huey. Did you see the paper, did you? So, Don't mind that bullshit in the paper, How Huey. did the paper know? Stirring it up, yeah? Spreading shit to their shithead mates in the press. Spreading shit that is fucking strangely true. At the gang leader. May now also kill the man he hired to shoot for. That's nothing but lies. Do you hear me, Huey? You're my brother. Yeah. Your half brother. Your half brother. My brother, Huey. <laughs> the good man who was a close relative of the gang leader is a volatile drug user who will now be regarded by him as a liability. <laughs> Do you hear me? You're letting them win if you believe that crap. You're my brother. How come all this is in the paper then? Don't be talking to me about this on the phone. Yeah. Okay, shut up, Huey. Huey. Shut up. Unless somebody was talking to somebody, you know? Yeah. I'll call you back. Huey. Oh. The guy in the car one, right? The guy in the car one must have. Mm. Oh. What? Oh. Drink up. Oh. Uh. Martin, I thought you said you could drink. Mm. Drink up. Is that his weapon of choice, is it? Wakey wakey, Martin. Oh! You've been knocking to the cops, Martin. Natter, natter, natter. Oh. I didn't talk to anyone. Somebody did. What's up with this? Huh? Come on, Martin, let's go party. Not a sort to go back in. It's your last chance, Martin. Who did you haul your natter with? 
<sighs> hey, bro. Uh, listen, I kind of fucked up. Kinda. It's a little bit. Fucked up a little bit. So he is a liability. Uh, he is a liability. No. Does Huey get in his car or does he not? Does Huey trust John Boy? Sorry. <laughs> so sorry. Sorry. You gotta burn it. Right, you've got to burn it, right? You've got to subvert it. And he just happens to have some petrol in his fucking boot. Of course he does. I kind of fucked up before, you know, as well. Yeah. I saw the shot, Robbie. Is that the job the guy did with him? Is that the other job? Okay. Did you just say that to anyone? No. Anyone? No. I might have said, you know, Robbie was a prick, you know, different people. Martin so, is the only person you. Why? I don't know, I have a big mouth. No. Why'd you kill him? He made a cock of me. Yeah? Yeah, he tried it, but I wasn't gonna let him, so he didn't. I owed me money from before he was inside. And I kept asking for it from him. And he wasn't giving it back to me. Sent the text and all, ignoring me he was. How much? How much did he owe you? 300. 300, 300 what? 300 euros. 300 euros. Look at John Boy. John Boy's stupefied. John Boy's amazed. 300 fucking euros. I have another number I want you to call me back on. No. Mm. What do you want to say, Darren? Jimmy Byrne, yeah? Jimmy Byrne. What to do with me, if anyone's listening in there, but he had it coming to him, didn't he? You live by the sword, you die by the sword. Yeah. He had nothing to do with Robbie. Well, I think you can believe what you want, but you know yourself he was melting off around town about it. I remember you said that before. Huey heard that, didn't he? Yes, he did. Yeah. The next episode is going to be a monster, isn't it? Um, it doesn't really feel like... See, because they shot four episodes, it doesn't really feel like a, a series. It feels like everything's condensed, right? But what a, what a reveal, right? What a reveal. Huey shot Robbie. Huey did it. I thought it was John Boy. Huey did it. John Boy knew nothing about it. And see the way, see the way they revealed that last, see that last like 20 minutes or so, when like um, Huey came out with the, so the, the, they do the thing in the house with the wife and the kid watching and then they come out and some people get arrested and it's like, um, everybody sort of knows what happened, but everyone's kind of reacting to it differently, right? And then Huey sees a newspaper, and Huey's like, I look a shock in his face. And I'm thinking, why is he looking shocked? He did it. Like, he knows he was there. I was like, one shot for his wife and kids, right? Why? Well, apparently, in the newspaper, it named Huey, well, more or less named Huey, and it named John Boy, and it said that John Boy had the assassin killed afterwards, which is Huey. And it made Huey hell of a paranoid and like um Yeah. So Huey was paranoid but and he's paranoid about the thing they did before with the traveller guy. So he was really paranoid about that. So he ended up killing the traveller guy. And then he says, Oh, I may have shot Robbie. I fucked up before as well. 
since I'm being honest with you, since we're admitting our, our crimes, I might, have, I, might have, I might have killed Robbie. Like, wow, mate. So Robbie got killed by Huey because Robbie owed him 300 euros and wouldn't pay up. 300 euros. And now John Boy's in this weird position, right, where he's got to try and try defend his brother for the indefensible, right? He's got to defend his brother against somebody much more capable than his brother. And his brother is a liability and he knows it, but he still has blood. And he's got to try and defend him against somebody who is right, who is right to be, you know, who... Like, Darren's got the right for blood, right? He's got the... He's, he's in the right. And John Boy knows that, but John Boy's a fucking scumbag anyway. And he's got to defend Huey regardless. So... Next episode, I don't know what is going to happen because Darren can't realistically go up against John Boy Huey in the gang himself. Because Nidge, who said would Nidge take? Who said would Nidge uh, But next episode, well, this has got to be, this is, like I said, this is, has this is done really, really well. First episode, it's a get to know you episode. Second episode, uh, like an auction sort of episode shows you how capable they are, how, how the strength of the gong. And then third episode is like the reveal, right? And then the fourth episode has got to be like a conclusion. It's like a story, right? A, a beginning, and a middle, and an end. And done the cut. And it's, yeah, can't wait. And I hope you join me for it. Thank you for views. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking, sharing if you do. And I will catch you for the next one.